Hello, in this video we will discuss how to create conditional rollup pattern. As you know, rollup pattern is the ability to apply the properties and the rollup logic, you know, for the structure of the system. And we have a system, right, and parts of the system, and we want to roll, for example, cost or mass or power consumption or something else. Sub A, sub B. So we can do it automatically, right? But sometimes it happens that we have uh, some more advanced uh, pattern logic, for example, that uh, some parts are without mass, weightless, right? Like for example, software parts or some logical components, right? And we don't want to pr introduce the mass for them, you know? <clears throat> so uh, you can actually apply the pattern from here, apply a roller pattern, choose the, for example, mass, create the value properties and uh, later on remove this you know by removing one of the two things you know like uh, if this for example is weightless like let's say like a uh, software right and this will be like hardware uh, so you can remove uh, from association end this substitute this this will not remove the pattern will no longer work you know roll up or you can select that one and display generalization and then remove the generalization which was created by applying pattern. So in that case also it would not work, for example, like this. Remove, so apply, simulate like this. You see like A, I can add some things. They will roll. For the B, I can add things, but nothing will roll right because this generalization is removed now <coughs> how to create custom roller pattern is pretty much copy this one and modify the parametric uh, logic and also introduce new properties here so let's say we want to introduce a new property which would identify that uh, part uh, of the system is weightless right true or false or is weighted true or false and if this is like true, then if it has a weight, then the mass would be used. And if false, then mass would not be used. So this would be like in advance identifying is the part weighted or not, you know, instead of uh, like after the fact, you know, when we apply identifying that. So let's, uh, let's create custom pattern. So right click, select in containment tree. Here we have this pattern and also total, which is used in the pattern, copy paste to the model here height auxiliary resources so I now have this one so now I don't care about this one here I will unapply the pattern tools remove roller pattern remove mass pattern ok and also I will um, drag this new one we'll call it uh, my and then the total will be also different, will be my. So this is the calculation of the total value, right? And uh, this total is used here and uh, this logic is uh, here. So we have this logic here. Now we will introduce new property, which will be is uh, weighted, which will be Boolean and by default true so it means that part has a weight and then we'll uh, use in this parametric diagram this new property and this expression so let's go to this type of this pattern go to type here expand this one here and then expand and here we have this equation so we'll use by default it shows english but it's actually using you see child mass plus parent mass you know this is the so mass equals total it uses python so we can use here jiton for that and then uh, also if statement so will be if uh, is uh, way that uh, python is a language and now um, go to the block structure right click tools apply rule of pattern go to the my create properties here we have it 
So the true <coughs> means that it is it has a mass, false it doesn't, so we can specify here deliberately by accident like mass. Here mass, so and then also we'll exclude it false that it has no mass is weighted false. So now let's run. And we see the total is 10. So this is here is 10. If we we'll want to do any changes, we can go here, for example, massless right, is, is weighted, uh, it's false. If we'll do true, so it mass goes up, you know, in the system, but if it goes false, right, it doesn't, yeah. And you can save it as an instance, you know, uh, like this. Um, here into the model and then instance would allow you to show this as in instance table instance table like this you can say that this is my system and uh, or even better my pattern based on that you know you can say i have uh, my instances coming from here and then uh, show columns would be uh, is weighted total mass and mass so you can see here mass is here for subsystem b which is software but uh, because of this property false it doesn't sum to the total mass and total mass of the system is like this and you can also display mode uh, complete tree or so we have the system structure here so as you can see here this uh, now uh, gives us information about the system parts and also about the mass coming from that um, and also we can create with parts my uh, um, I, in this case actually it's not so easy to create the instance but um, but here we can review the instance the best way to create the instance would be to save it when you simulate here and uh, save it as a alternative for example another instance like this one so now if we'll go here you'll we'll see two different situations another thing what is worth mentioning is that actually if we'll uh, not want those properties here in the blocks you can always keep them only for instances so you can ref uh, tools uh, remove roll up pattern remove those properties and then apply roll up pattern tools apply roll up pattern apply roll up button choose the my mass don't create the properties here and then simulate run yes and then here you can actually assign the values so for example 10 or like maybe 100 like and then um, this one has no value let's say also i will assign like nine uh nine. and then uh, it does true because it is by default true so i will say this one is false right so there's not sum here and then we'll save as instance okay and now we have this instance created the last one and you see here now this last instance i can see it here right so the properties are here right so those two were created in different ways so we don't see those properties now but this one we have the whole properties and property for is weighted everything even but only now in instance table here we have this one it is not available in here so it keeps the model clean more clean you know you can even hide those you know and at the same time you have those values so you can always you know simulate from here and we'll load those values from instance like this here we have it load it you can change them here and load again you know you can just run it directly from instance table like simulation run here uh, without behaviors and so on so that was a short overview how to create custom conditional pattern and use it later in your calculations